Hello and welcome to our analysis of ICAT 12, which is the 12th or nearly the halfway stage mock in our All India National Level Mock Test Series for CAT. So people would have taken 11 mocks so far and we saw a lot of students come back to us and say that okay sir 11 was reasonably easy. So now what? So the remaining mocks will have various difficulty levels with various combinations for each section. Let's look at ICAT 12 first in terms of its difficulty level. The difficulty level here was 1.99 which is close to 2. So we have classified this as a purely moderate mock. What does that mean? For students who have not taken the ICAT so far, what this means is that every question has an LOD or a level of difficulty of 1, 2 or 3 which ranges from easy to moderate to difficult. So the LOD of the paper indicates the average difficulty level of each question which means that the overall paper here was moderately difficult. Now before we go to overall attempts which we will do at the end of this session, first let's look at the three sections in order of their appearance. Firstly verbal ability. The difficulty level here was a marginally over 2. So to be precise it was 2.03. Now what this means is that it was probably around say 8 to 10 percent over CAT. CAT is typically around the 1.9 mark which is what we have seen. So this is slightly higher but not significantly so much so as to scare you. Okay. Now so what was the paper structure as far as verbal ability was concerned. As usual we had 24 RC questions and 10 uh, non-RC questions which are also known as numerical entry or theta questions. The 24 RCs were split into 6 RCs. So when I say this all the time, when we have 6 RCs it implies there are 2 6 question RCs and 4 3 question RCs. What were these RCs like? So. I had two relatively easy RCs, the first one being a shorter one on Romeo and Juliet, again slightly inferential but doable. Then there was a longish RC on reality shows in the USA, on the shame based shows. This was quite easy. So these two were the sets that you should have definitely tried as far as this mock was concerned. Then there were two moderate RCs. One was on subprime mortgage that was the lending crisis and one was on geographical studies. So here it would have depended on what your interests are and how comfortable you are reading these subjects. Then there were two tough RCs. So one was on Pablo Picasso, a famous artist and it dealt with his life and his work, its implications etc. So this was something which would have been tough for everybody except for say arts graduates who have dealt with this subject. And then there was another RC on fantasy. Uh, this was more on Indian fantasy really, but the questions were moderate to tough. So it made interesting reading. The questions weren't easy. Broadly if I look at it, so there were two RCs tending towards the easy part. Two which were purely moderate, one between moderate and tough and one tough. So how many should you have attempted? Now if I look at an average LOD of slightly greater than 3 or sli sorry slightly greater than 2 then my attempts are not going to be very high. I would probably keep a number just below 15 as my benchmark. If you look at the RCs here, the two RCs which were easy, the 3 and 6 question ones were the ones that you should have attempted. Then in the two moderate RCs you could have picked up an occasional easy question, a moderate question. So pick, pick up one or two questions here and there and try and reach 12. Why did I say try and reach 12? Look at the non-RC questions. You had jumbled, contextual odd man out and para summary. Out of this para summary was purely tough. So that is something people would anyways have struggled. Contextual odd man out people generally find tough. It was anyways moderate to tough in this paper. Jumbled sentences were moderate, so you could have solved one or two questions there. So broadly, if you had 12 attempts in RC, you would have got two more attempts in jumbled and tried to reach 14. 
14 would have been a good attempt as far as this section is concerned. Let's now move on to the DILR section and see how you could have fared there. If I look at the difficulty level of DILR, it's classified as moderate, which is good for you because it makes the section easier compared to some of the earlier mocks. The average difficulty is classified as 2.06, so it's again marginally over 2. So technically, it makes vocal and DILR of approximately the same difficulty. But if I look at it in terms of CAT, this is definitely 10 to 15% easier compared to what you'll see in CAT. So if you see this paper, what we've done is verbal is slightly tougher than expected. DILR is slightly easier than expected. That is again one experience we wanted to give you. So here, what would be the number of good attempts? In a section like this, where the difficulty level has gone down, question selection would be important. Because you would have five to six sets that you could be able to solve you need to get the right ones. Which were the sets that you could have solved? There was one long set really with a figure and lot of data on fielding positions in cricket. But that was quite easy and that should have been solved. Then there was a caselet on Venn diagrams over fruit stalls. That should have been solved. There was a 6 by 6 grid where numbers needed to be put. So it needed to be solved like a Sudoku puzzle. Again, you should have solved that. So these 12 were definitely must-do questions. Then there were three other sets. One on coins of different denominations, so you need to create equations. One on a cricket league auction, which was conditional in nature. So if X is in this team, Y will go elsewhere, etc. And one was on Benoni democracy, which was on elections. In these three sets, you could have picked up two, or you could have tried all three while trying to solve two, three questions each. So broadly, the number of attempts that I would classify here would be 12 from the first three sets that I mentioned and 8 to 9 questions or 7 to 9 questions from the remaining three sets that I mentioned. In general, 19 to 20 attempts tending more towards 19 would be my idea of a good performance in this section. Finally, we move on to quant, the easiest section of CAT. Technically, it was again the easiest section of this mock as well, with an average difficulty of close to 1.9, which means that it was moderate. So, of course, it was easier compared to the other two, but if you look at it purely in terms of CAT, then yes, it was again around say 7-8% tougher or 10% tougher than the actual exam. So, if you look at the overall trend of this mock, it was slightly tougher VA, easier DILR, and tougher than expected maths, though it was not tough, tougher than expected. Having said that, you would still be able to find 10 to 11 easy questions in maths. And these are the ones that you definitely need to target. So which were those questions? If you look at the overall breakup, there were a lot of questions here from modern math and arithmetic which could be classified as easy. Of the 11 that I have identified, in terms of being easy questions, there are at least seven which belong to modern math and arithmetic. There was no clear trend that I was able to identify in terms of the uh, question numbering because I keep telling students that sometimes you will get a chunk of these questions. Here there was no chunk really, but they were spread out throughout the paper. So if you identified these, these 11 were dead giveaways. Then there were some of these questions which were between easy to moderate or moderate etc. You could have tried another 4-5 or five of these easily. Broadly speaking, 10 plus 5 or 11 plus 4, that's 15 attempts, would be a good performance as far as quant is concerned for this mock. In general, this was a moderately difficult mock with an above average verbal section, so a moderate verbal section moderate DILR section and moderate quant section. The number of good attempts here would be around 14, 19 and 15. So in general, I would say somewhere around 48 to 49 attempts would be a good performance for this paper. If you were able to touch 50, then it would be really good. 
Thank you and wish you all the best for CAT. You can subscribe to more videos on our official channel. Thank you once again.